right, we're going to get into this part two. Um, for everybody tuning in, this is the King and I Life Podcast. I am Sun Soul Lex with my brother, Soul Tucker, the poet. Touch up. Need to keep working. <laughs> so, hey, hey, hey. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start breaking down part two. I leave it to the queen. Uh, I think we're going to pick up with does it matter if the person they cheated with, do it matter? The other person that your, your significant other cheated with, do it matter? What do you mean? Like, so what are we saying? Are we saying like, does it matter in general? Like skin tone? No, what we're, we're referring to is like the person your significant other cheated with, was it your brother or a close friend or a stranger? Uh co-worker an ex Mm -hmm. it it only I'm going to say I'm going to say this that is probably going to be one of those depends on the person too because for me I don't care if it was my mama or Susie Q from two states away that I ain't never met it's the same for me (laughs) (laughs) It's the same <laughs> for me. I, I don't care. Um, right, right. But I know a lot of I know a lot of women that feel like, oh well, it's different if I know them and she know that's my man. Then mm. it makes it worse somehow. Um, mm. I never understood that logic because for me, it's all bad. I don't care. Like I, I don't care if I know you or if I don't know you. It's all bad. Does it make it worse if I know you or if I don't know you? It's you cheated. Mm. There's no getting around it and there's no denying it because at the end of the day, I don't give a damn about the next person because they don't owe me anything. I was in a relationship with you. Mm -hmm. I don't care who the other participant was. They don't owe me anything. They're not obligated to me for any reason. Mm. So my my problem is with you and it, therefore it doesn't matter who it was you could tell me babe i slept with michelle obama yesterday or you could tell me i slept with trailer park beth ann on tuesday i'm probably gonna swing on you either way <laughs> period <laughs> Icy, icy. Oh man! <laughs> and it's not so much as swinging on you because you you cheated. That's not what the swing is coming from. The swing for me is coming because men have the audacity to think that their woman is not getting hit on every single day. Mm. Some and if I have if I have at least five different men hitting on me in a week and I can say no, how dare you come in here and be like, oh well, you know, I had a moment of weakness. Mm. Hmm? <clears throat> so let me let me call up De- Deron, they work at FedEx, they come by here every Thursday because I'm always ordering stuff. I had a moment of weakness because brother is fine. It's like it, men expect and they and they hold women to standards that they don't hold themselves to. That's true. That is one of the reasons that I feel like men cannot handle women cheating because mm-hmm. you put this you put this jacket on a woman to where she should have more restraint and she should be more mature and she should be more grounded and she should be more focused on the relationship whereas men feel like if I cheat hell is my God given right Mm. because I'm a man the why you out cheating you skinning and grinning the moment you find out she done stepped outside you pissed off you want to bust her head you want to shoot up Billy Joe around the corner because he knew about it and it was his cousin Ray Ray that been over to the house you know not gonna back out Mm -hmm. i know more men that are sitting in jail behind what sits between a woman's legs 
than murder. Yeah. Like just an out and out, we beefing is murder. <clears throat> it's murder because he slept with your baby mama or y'all beefing over abroad. Mm-hmm. Whereas you don't see women going to jail behind that. Not a lot of them anyway. You might you might see them fight or you know, you know, she got beat up in the dairy <clears throat> alley at Kroger because she caught little mama that was messing with her her man or whatever. But other than that, it's it's really not that serious for, for most women. I can't say all. For most women, it's really not that serious. Mm. Because we have been programmed to say it's what men do. It's just what men do. But whenever a man gets a chick that mirrors his actions, he don't know what to do with her. He don't want her. Oh, right. she, she don't know her place as a woman. She thinks she a dude. Why? Because she's going to act exactly like you act. I'm going to match your energy. When women start saying that to men, I'm going to match your energy. And then they actually do. Men don't want to be bothered with that kind of woman. Because you can't handle the fact that when you come in after a long night of cheating, that she probably ain't been in too much before you because she been out getting her back blown out. Mm-hmm. There is an old blues song that says, who's making love to your old lady while you're out making love? Mm-hmm. That song is so, so, so needed in today's age. Because when you're out doing your dirt, in your mind, you have a good girl who's at home waiting on you to come in. And that's the biggest misconception out there. For a lot of people. The biggest misconception. And whenever that misconception is shattered, men can't handle it. They never can. Because how dare she? I mean, I know I was acting up, but shoot, I was going to get right eventually. How dare she? Hmm? Hmm. That's my take on it. I would say um, it matters who the person they cheated with when people are immature and they can't handle it because I agree with you in the grand scheme of things, it don't matter. But, um, and for, for women, if I could speak on, on a woman's point of woman's point of view, they get highly upset. If it's a, an ex, a a coworker or a a mutual friend, because they look at it as they can look at it as, um, they've been plotting on my man for a long time and they may be blind to the fact that that man may have been plotting on that. So, you know, when, Mm -hmm. when, when the people are immature to, to, to that reality, I think that's when it matters. Um, And I think that for men, it doesn't matter if it's a mutual friend, it doesn't matter if it's a coworker an ex or one night stand, for for most men, all of them are devastating. But I think mm-hmm. that, but I think that if, if a woman cheats with his with his homeboy, that's like earth shattering. Um, if she te- cheats with one of her coworkers, that's definitely earth er- shattering. Oh, that's your work husband. Y'all, you know, you at work for eight hours a day and he all in your face and yep. this, that, and the other and blah, blah, blah. Oh, we had an argument, you know, this, that, and the other and you cheated on me. Was that the reason? Um, if it's an ex, Lord have mercy. You might as well send that man to therapy because he going to be on that mindset. <laughs> oh, the ex can always get it. Well, dude, wasn't you banging your ex, yep. you know? And then... If it's a one night stand, if it's a one night stand, I bet she is every whore on the planet. Cause it's like, how dare you give my stuff away to a stranger? You don't know this, you don't know that. He could have did this to you, he could have did that to you. And it's like, oh damn, bro. Didn't you have one night stands in your life? Like how you coming at me sideways? Like, come on, like for real. Again, it's because men can't handle it. No matter how the pie is sliced, they just cannot handle it. My take on that is, for me personally, um, it don't matter. Now, will it sting a little bit if it's one of my close friends? Hell yeah. You know, my ego is going to take that hit. Like, damn, not only did my my 
uh, wife cheat on me. She cheated on me with somebody I consider to be a friend. So yeah, my ego is going to take that hit. But overall, it doesn't fucking matter. It don't matter. Not even a little bit. Because the thing is, what's done is done. And regardless of whoever they did it with, I'm the type, again, if something like that was to happen, knock on wood, I can't blame that other dude. I can't blame homeboy. Because he saw an opportunity where I was slipping and he took advantage of that mm-hmm. shit. Yeah. So you you got me. Hey, I give you mm-hmm. the big A, homeboy, A plus. You got that. But at the same time, I can only blame my wife because you know what this is. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you're the only one that has any obligations. Either. Right. I, I've seen plenty of situations where um, people who are caught up in situations like that where the man will take it out on the other man or the woman take it out on the other woman. Why? Yeah, like why? Call those ducks. <laughs> <laughs> that is, I call them ducks. You got to be the craziest duck ever because you are. I see so many women be mad at the woman mm-hmm. for life, but will go home and be a whole porn star for this dude that you just caught over her house. But mm-hmm. you flatten her tires. You want to fight her every time you see her anywhere. You got her name mm-hmm. constantly in your mouth. I see it so much with women. So much. It's the woman. It's the woman. It's the woman. No, sis. It's your man. Your man is the only one you should be mad at. You know, exactly. the one you're at home with right now. You I, you be mad at the dude for five to ten minutes or an hour or a day at the most. But at the end of the day, you're not leaving him alone. But that chick, she is marked for life by you. You are mm-hmm. going to hate her to your very last breath. Yeah. But she don't she didn't cheat on you. Sure did. She's no. not in a relationship with you. Mm-hmm. I've never understood that about chicks. You hate that woman with every ounce of your being, but you don't hate the dude. Mm-hmm. You don't. You don't hate that man mm-hmm. that actually cheated on you. Shoot, I never understood. Tango. That. It mm-hmm. takes two to tango. So I, I ain't going to get mad at now, that. Now, what I don't like is when women be like, oh, it ain't my fault. You should have been taking care of your man. Them the ones I want to billy bop. Them, them the, the ones, ones that, that need to get pop, popped in the mouth. <laughs> 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 they definitely need to get popped in the mouth, man. Like, like just for don't real. Don't say anything. Yeah, tell, just shut up. I tell my homegirl all the time, hey, man. I don't do domestic, so if she run over here and, and bop you up real quick, I'm going to let her have that because yeah. you need to be quiet. Oh, it ain't my fault your man chose me. He didn't actually choose you. Right. He screwed you and then he went home to her. He didn't choose you. Yeah. And, I, it was a chick yeah. that literally had a license plate put on the front of her car, home record. And wow. she thought it was the funniest thing because she was sleeping with people's dudes. I mean, she was notorious for it would get her ass whooped on a regular for it. So she was, one night she came in and she was like, uh, it's me, the infamous home worker. And I was like, so what home did you actually wreck? Cause the rubber, I see none of the dudes that you <laughs> was messing with leave home. Like, like oh, you actually have man. to break that up to be a home worker and you haven't done I want that I know of. Mm. So you're just a slut bucket. That's call it. Call her that to this day too. Bless her little heart. Hey, we man. cool, but I still call That's her a slut it. bucket. Of course, she gotta be all that man. <laughs> she just want a little bit of loving, a little bit of loving. Oh, she is a man. But I will say this. I will say this. Uh, for someone like that, if she's willing to own that shit like that, more power to you. More power to you. I mean, if you was an actual homework, I would be like on that shit. She's not. She's but, not a homework. But she realized that's part of the game. That is, yeah. You get and what now, I'm saying? Like, if you're gonna play like that, you gotta realize that's part of the game. Getting your ass. And now, whipped. bless her little it's heart. A part of yes. the game. So and now if she you got married that, and she trying to settle down, and guess what? That joke running like all over. Wrecked her home. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody wrecked her home. 
Somebody was waiting in the cut on that. He, he flat moved out, moved in with the side chick. Wow. And, and you know I, what I said? I said, now that's a homewrecker. Mm. I was petty. I said, he, he's a real sucker. He is a sucker. Really? But I say he, he was a sucker before. Because you mm. knew what you were getting into. You right. knew what kind of female <clears throat> you were dealing with here, right? Mm. So maybe he felt like I want to get her before she get me. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. That's crazy. Um, yeah. I, I don't I don't understand why people do that anyway. Like if if your person cheat on you, you take on take that up with that person. Um as much as you want to go fight that person that they cheated with, it's again, it's yeah, it's not their fault, you know. Mm-hmm. They ain't they ain't do that. Sure do. Right. Yeah, take that right. where it is. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like this, right? The whole cheating thing for me, just just to sum it up for myself, I feel like as adults, there's no need to cheat. As an adult in an adult relationship outside of a marriage, which I still feel like you should be able to sit down and talk to your partner and, and, and work something out. But when you are not married, there's absolutely no reason to cheat. I want to do something else. Mm-hmm. It's that easy. <clears throat> I want to do something else. I want to get out there and I want to do X, Y, and Z. If you want to stay, cool. If you, if you can't handle it, then cool. I feel like as adults, we should be able to sit down and and be honest about what we want. I don't understand the whole cheating. I, I literally don't understand cheating. I don't like why. Why, as an adult, am I am I cheating? Is it because I want my cake and the sprinkles and the ice cream and the brownie? Do I want all of those? I'm just that greedy that I want all of those things because when you're cheating, if it's for anything outside of sex, so all that, what you're lacking at home, if it's, if it's something you're lacking at home outside of sex, then once they start giving you that and feeding you that, you're, going, you're not going to be satisfied at home anyway. Right. You're going to eventually leave. So why drag out the inevitable when I can say I am not getting X, Y, and Z from you and at this point I'm tired of asking and now I see over here that this is X, Y, and Z. The flip side of that is when you're that person saying you want to go do something else, you have to be able to swallow if this doesn't work out over here, this person might not take me back and if they do, it might be changed forever. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You have to be an yeah. adult to be able to make <clears throat> those kind of decisions. Yeah. But cheating is never the answer. True, true. Where are we at? Who's it on? Uh, do women handle cheating better? I think we, we, we kind of. No, we went over that one, didn't we? Well, we did, but um, um, on on that though, why... I'll say this. Sorry, go ahead. I was going. I was going to say, um, if that is the case, if women handle cheating better, why is that the case? Women handle cheating differently, so it appears better. Mm, yeah. When women first find out about cheating, they blow up. Every woman does. It's it's a it's a blow up type of situation. But again, women don't take it out on the man. My yelling cussing that's up for that that first initial thing. But it's it's the other woman that catches the the grief and the hell that's that it's constantly a thing with. So it's not necessarily that women handle cheating better they just misplace the issue Mm. they 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 make the the woman the target so therefore they're not actually dealing with the cheating 
of the man in the relationship. They're not literally dealing with it. In her mind, I have a good man. This woman is the reason he cheated. Had she not been doing X, Y, and Z, he wouldn't have cheated. So it appears that women are handling it better or differently. But at the same time, she does she doesn't really, she does, she just acts out more subtly. Like, say you get caught cheating and then some months have went by. You decide you want to hang out with the fella. She is pissed off. She got attitude. She don't want you to go nowhere. Which why you why you and then the phone call starts. Where you at? How long you gonna be? Uh, who you with? Who all over? It's not necessarily she handles it better. She just handles it differently. Which mm-hmm. women in cheating, women keep score. Mm. I don't think most men know that women literally <laughs> keep score. <laughs> he cheated on November the sixteenth oh, with Susie Bell at Hotel Rwanda. When men get to that fifth time, women begin to plot their next move. And I'm telling you, it's usually standard five times for most women. Mm. Once was an accident. Twice was a mistake. Three times was deliberate, but you might have a little remorse. That fourth and that fifth time, you don't give a fuck about me. Mm. Now, why women don't actually leave again goes back to that security that they have in that particular relationship with that particular man. Mm-hmm. And they may truly love each other. I never doubt that you might truly be in love with somebody or you might truly love somebody and you still be out cheating. But by that fifth time, women are paying attention to Raheem that dropped the mail off at work a little more. They paying attention to John that work at the gas station. He's a good, hard working, honest man. And he always tells me I look nice. I think John might have a little crush on me. So by the time you've cheated on your woman six or seven times, your woman's cheating too. Mm. Might not be physical yet, but she has started the process. The ace in the hole. Penny draws away. Yeah. And another thing about women is. Uh, <laughs> that girl cold. That girl cold. Spit that so game. Strong. Spit that game. <laughs> they want to hear care it. Who she is, I don't care what she says. Women always have a plan B, even if they don't have a plan B, because women always know there's a man sitting in the wings waiting for you to fuck up. Always. I agree with that. So. That being said, she'll give you chance after chance, but that shoulder that she's crying on is that one that she know he going to listen. He going to patiently listen because I know he actually want to be with me. A shoulder to cry on is a dick to ride on mm-hmm. every time. Damn. Yeah. Just letting you know. <laughs> yeah. I so mean, why y'all yeah. out, when men are out cheating and doing those type of things, Women are at home and they're crying and they're crying and they're crying. But in the midst of their crying, they are also changing. Cheating internally changes a woman's mind and heart Mm -hmm. every time. Every, Every blow that you dish her is going to eventually be what she uses to leave every time because women's cheating often leads more often than not leads to them leaving now there are some women that are just dogs like that though mm-hmm. they put their heart in their back pocket and just be out there just, hey I done seen a chick so cold that I be telling my brother hey man y'all better stay away from her little mama ain't no joke she <laughs> thinks like <laughs> she thinks like a up here. Mm. She want what she want from you and nine times out of ten 
I didn't hear her walk up to dudes and just be like, I, I'm just looking for somebody to give me a little head tonight. What's up? What you doing? What you doing tonight? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't need nothing else from you but that. Like, I don't want no pipe. I don't, I just want, I want to stand up over you in my bed and you give me head. Mm-hmm. Clutch my pearl. <laughs> this is the big people <laughs> conversations. I'm just like, you know, the cheating thing is just for the most part, women don't want to cheat, but they will cheat. Yeah. But I do feel like for the most part, a man is a driving force in a relationship to make a woman cheat. Whereas I think men just cheat just because. That's my thing on me. Mm. Um, I would say most women cheat better than men because, um, like you said, women take score and most men don't and they, they're not, uh, most men are not strategic in, in that, that action, not saying that, you know, I'm condoning it, but, um, yeah, a woman, most women to sit back and, and they'll peep the whole scene out and be like, oh, okay, you got time for this, you got time for that, but you don't have time for me. All right, let me put, I got, let me, let me put that score over here. Um, and, you know, because of that, men, men are naive to the fact that, that women are like that. Um, another reason is because that woman could be cheating. Not not necessarily that she has that plan B, which, you know, I've, you know, because I have a lot of female friends, it's like I pay attention to what the hell they be saying. So, you know, and, and, and being that, it's like I've learned, hey, you don't belong to me. If you cheat, you're going to cheat. If not, not, you're not, whatever the case may be. But, you know, sometimes that woman could be cheating and they can handle you going to cheat out you know you might get caught up cheating blah 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 she come at you all subtle like oh so you cheated on me blah 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 you know the dude trying to get this song and dance this you know that and the other and that woman saying in her head you trying to sell me a you trying to sell me a, a lexus when when you know i don't need that but i already got a lexus back here and you you trying to sell me what i already got you know so some women cheat better because of that, that you know if it's not the ace yeah. of the hole, it's because, hey, you you sloppy with yours. I've done mine, and Definitely. it's whatever. And, you know, another reason it could be is because, uh, as you was alluding to before, is women are expected to, or um, it, it's a learned behavior from what they've seen uh, previously from, you know, their mother, grandmother, aunts, whatever the case may be. Oh, you know, they seen their husbands cheat on them and, and they just sweep it up under the rug and go on about their business. And they sitting there looking like, yo, is, is that how that's supposed to go? Uh, uh, that's a messed up learned behavior for a woman to have because that makes a cold hearted woman. And these men, instead of them learning this about these women, they, have this whole male bravado going on and they think, oh, I'm going to be a man, beat my chest, whatever the case may be. But you don't know that this woman is conditioned to that type of behavior. And because she conditioned to it, you being the, 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 the knucklehead man that you are, you don't see anything wrong in your situation. You don't even notice the changes in this woman to the fact that, you know, you may not know that she got that ace in the hole. You may not know that she cheated mm. on you. You may not know that this is what she's used to. So when it comes to her cheating, she could do it. You no, know, she could do it like it's taking a, a breath of fresh air. And you know, you're just oblivious mm-hmm. to that. That's what I got on that. I will say, um, I do think that women again handle it better. Um I'll tell you a particular time, uh, I had a situation with a young lady and it was a long time ago, a long, long time ago, um, where she was married and uh, I was single at the time, but her husband had cheated on her, right? And uh, little shorty was tight, I give it to her, um, 
we got into the conversation. She started pouring out, you know, what was going on with her and her situation. And I just listened. And I'm thinking to myself, Shorty, you just don't know. Keep talking like that. You're going to get that. Get that. <laughs> but um, anyway. You can get that, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can get that. Get that, get that. <laughs> but her, um, her <laughs> thought pattern was, I'm going to stick with my man. I still love him. But she wanted to punish my boy. Wow. I mean, Ooh, literally yeah. punish the shit out of him. And I'm thinking to myself, I kind of get it, but I don't get it. Because her way of thinking was, in order for me to feel back the way that I felt before I discovered you cheating, I got to spend your dollars. So she said, every time I feel like that hurt is coming on, I go and spend money. I send the bill to him. Mm. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, sure. That's I, that I retail that. therapy. That yeah. retail therapy. I get that. But at the same damn time, you're doing more hurt to you too mm-hmm. than to him. Because at this point, you're putting yourselves in a financial hole. And you're never gonna be able to spend that much money to right. make you feel back right. Mm-hmm. Right. But uh, make a long story. So short. with that being said, she should have just got in the wing and just called it a just get a little strange. Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't knock her off though. I didn't knock her off. You know, I I I recognized that we had a connection like that, but at the same time, I was wise enough to know you might not want to get into it like that. I was just about to say that's a powder key. Because <laughs> yeah, you know, um, <laughs> I ain't, I ain't finna go down that road with you, little mama. Mm-hmm. I don't need them kind of problems. But um, uh, part of me feels like when it comes down to that, a man, I think, I say he hurts more. And the reason mm-hmm. I think I think he hurts more is because when he discovered that his significant other has did that business out there. He, he's automatically thinking about, okay, what I did wrong. Um, yeah, I did do that. I did that. I did that. I did that. And he's trying to, you know, make it make sense in his head of why he either she's at fault or he's at fault. So it's kind of like he's playing wow. tennis in his head about the whole situation. Um, unfortunately, there is no no real answer because I feel like if a person's going to cheat, they're going to cheat. I don't give a damn how good you treat them or how bad you treat them. If it's in them to do what they're going to do, they're going to do it. I feel the same way. That's just how I feel about it, though. Yeah, because I'll tell a joke in a minute. I'll tell a joke in a minute. You going to get mad if I cheat on you? No. Why not? (laughs) Why should I? The same way I got the same way I got you, the same way I can you lose you. The same way I got you, I can get somebody else. Same way you got mm-hmm. me, you can get somebody else. Like mm-hmm. I don't I don't get it. But um I think on the aspect of cheating, the one thing that blows my entire mind is uh, someone cheating on a significant other and the situation don't work out with the person that they cheated with. Why you mad? Like you stepped out on your whole relationship and and it ain't go it didn't go the way that you wanted to go. Now you mad. Now you in this position to where, oh, now you feel in some type of way towards the person that you cheated with, and now you're feeling guilty that you cheated on your significant other. That part I will never understand. Like, what were you thinking when you chose to go out your house? And get you a side side piece, a side meal, and it's not working out for you, and, and you're mad. Like, if you can't, if you can't, if if look, if you know you're gonna get hit when you step on that field, be second string, stay on the porch. Right, I agree with that. Yeah, definitely. Better have your damn uh, pad and installation on, sir. <laughs> All, yeah, the on. All the way on. All the way. All the way. Pull them shoulder pads real tight. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But um on this last bullet, uh, so can a man fully forgive the woman that cheated 
or and and can women for, fully nope. uh, forgive nope. a man? Nope. 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 No. Nope. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because no, 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 no. Because this, this is the, this is the way it was brought to me. This is the way it was brought to me. All right, break it down. So, the woman go cheats on the man, and they come back together, and and say we're gonna work it out. And the way it was described to me, full forgiveness is, he says I forgive you, and they go on about their merry way and make things work. My thing, I forgive you, but nine times out of 10, we might, might move forward. I'm not going to throw, throw it in your face all the time. Oh, you cheated on me. If, if I say I forgive you, then I forgive you. But for me, I feel like, well, you cheated on me. You cheated on me. Don't come at me and say, well, you cheated on me three times and I forgave you. No, the, no you didn't forgive me. Because you forget, if you forgave me, you wouldn't be throwing it in my face. And exactly. at the same time that most men can't fully forgive a woman for cheating, women cannot fully forgive the man. I think the woman is more likely to uh, sweep it up under the rug, so to speak, and 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 just move forward. But that man is not forgiven. That man. More than more, more than likely, he ain't sweeping up up under the rug. Um, right. You can you can say you forgive her, but you still gonna be looking at her funny. You still gonna be looking at her like, well, did, did he give it to to her the way I give it to her? Did he do it better than me? That for most men, that's gonna be in their mind. So my thing to men like that is, if you are not mentally capable of accepting that woman for whatever it is and move forward with her, don't say you forgive her and move forward because that's not going to work. I'm going to forgive you and I'm going to be like, all right, cool, whatever. And I'm going to go the other way because I know that you didn't want me. You wanted something else. But um, yeah, I think if you're going to throw it in that person's face, then you, you can't forgive them. Right. Um, I feel like I feel like you can. I, I, I totally agree with your your sentiments um that you know if you can't forgive don't even place yourself in that type of situation right Mm -hmm. because again at the back of your mind you're going to be constantly thinking about that shit you're going to be constantly thinking damn i wonder if that that ebony bigger than me i wonder was he (laughs) bigger than me i wonder (laughs) did did he did he eat it out from the back (laughs) better than me you know what i'm saying you 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 constantly thinking about that and, and for then, the woman, it's more so of what does she have that I don't have? Yes. Why does yes, she have? Well, yes. it's a it's it's just like you feel less than. Mm-hmm. And then again, most men don't cheat up. So when you do figure out who we messing with, you like <sighs> for real? Yeah. Like for real. So it's a blow in in that way as well. And so <clears throat> really most women are going to look at you different. Like, mm-hmm. you, that's what you, you did that? I am mm-hmm. I mean, I might not be the prettiest crayon in the box, but I sure ain't burnt sienna over here that nobody want to right. play with. You, know, <laughs> you, you, just, you know? <laughs> you, you, um, yeah, I'm, I'm at least violent, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, so, it's not necessarily that, that the woman doesn't truly forgive, but it breaks something in her um, that's called trust. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if you don't have the trust, you really don't have the relationship because she is never going to trust anything that you say out of your mouth again. Mm-mm. Baby, well, you know the sky. Is- the sky is blue today. Oh yeah, she gonna make her way outside eventually just to look herself. Yeah, and, and still ain't gonna her, believe it. Yeah, then right, it's not ever gonna fully give you back that what they felt was that type of trust they're mm-hmm. never gonna right. give it back to you fully never like when never. R. kelly say when a woman's fed up please believe she got that yeah. oh yeah up. all and the way mm-hmm. damn thing you can do about it so the Not best advice shit. i can give any man in a situation like that is gone goddamn count your your blessings or whatever you got left over and gonna move mm-hmm. the hell on 
because you, you'll never get what you had to begin yeah. with back. Yeah. You'll never get it back. Never. Never. Never, 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 never. Mm-hmm. Never. Like, she will forever give you the side eye. Mm-hmm. Forever. Yeah. She's going to want to try to stay and she's going to want to try to make it work. But you have... What I hate is when men cheat and then she gets insecure and then he he scolds her for being insecure. You gave her those insecurities. Mm-hmm. You, you gave them to her. Because she wasn't like that in the beginning. But your fuck boy self went out there and did some whole shit and now she's doubting herself and she's questioning her own worth and now you you mad at her and you you actually use that as a as a weapon. Yeah. Oh, I'm out here because she insecure, you know, she insecure mm-hmm. and I ain't got Are you kidding me? Her insecurities came from you and, exactly. and your shenanigans. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, even though she might be bruised, she's not broken. Mm-mm. She's not no. broken. And the thing about her being bruised is she is going to allow you to punish her, but for so long, yeah. like it's her fault. And then that's where the not broken comes in because then she's going to be like, oh, he got me bent. And then when she starts to stand up for herself, then most men will be like, you know, oh, okay, she, she ain't letting that slide no more. So let me see mm-hmm. what I can do. Let me see what I can do. And and some actually really do for real deal straighten up, but but the trust is gone. Yeah. Yeah. She's literally going through the motions after a while. She's just going through the motions. Yeah. It's, it's a hollow relationship. The meat and potatoes are completely gone. Mm. Yeah, I think um, in the grand scheme of things, a lot of women uh, handle cheating better than men. And, and I say that because in, in certain instances, women are more emotionally acute more emotionally conscious and more emotionally stable when it comes to certain types of hurts um Mm -hmm. when it comes to cheating i think a lot of women they are are better at masking it and Mm -hmm. and when they have a when they put in positions to where they mask it so much they become numb to it numb to the Mm -hmm. to the point where they can be like Oh, he cheated on me. I'm hurt, but I'm I'm building this wall up. I'm building this wall up, and yep. it's going to like as you were saying, it's going to get to that point where okay, that fourth and fifth time, I'm done. Um, mm-hmm. For men, and, and I, I can say this from experience, from in my twenties, um, for me, it was like if I got cheated on, my ego was bruised, my feelings was hurt. And differently from women, that's not something that um, that went away. Like I had to sit back and be like, oh, man, damn. It was like, nah, I got to do something to make myself feel like a man again. I have to make myself feel like I'm the king of the jungle. Um, and, and that's how a lot of men think when when they're immature or they're not emotionally conscious of things like that. Um, so it, it does take men a lot longer to heal from that. The problem with that is a lot of these men, they get away with it so long, whether the woman never finds out or the woman keeps giving his dude passes or whatever the case may be, or he just know that he could do whatever he want to do and she ain't going nowhere. A lot of men mm-hmm. get in that comfort zone and they sit there so long that they feel like they're bulletproof and their egos are so shielded from reality that it's like, they don't know no better. But the first time that a woman does something to put a chink in his armor, it's a wrap. Like it's a total wrap. That dude is no more good. And unfortunately he's going to end up taking that out on other women who are innocent in the game. And, you know, that's 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 a big problem to me because, dude. Again, you know, you, you can't be running around here thinking that you know, you all that. You know, women women have feelings. Women women have needs. Women have desires. Women have the same needs that you need, that you have, 
And if you neglect them or ignore them, what you expect is going to happen. Uh, you just you just got to be aware of that. I'm going to say two things on the end of this conversation. One is when it comes down to, to cheating, whether you're the man or the woman, right? It's not what the other person is saying. It's what they're not saying. That's mm-hmm. that shit you got to work, work out or look yeah. out for, you know what I'm saying? Because when that she part. stops, that part. stops complaining about where you at and stop calling, baby, are you okay? Mm. Uh, what time you get here? Uh, you, you start coming in and you start seeing a damn stove is colder than a motherfucker because she ain't cooking <laughs> shit for her or shit for you either. That's that shit. Mm. That's the shit you better be work, uh, looking out for. Yeah. And the other thing I will say... Um, Again, when it comes down to a man or a female cheating on you, the way I look at it is, shit, you did me a motherfucking favor. What? <laughs> a favor. Because the thing is, at the end of the day, you showed me who you truly are. Yeah. So if that that man or that woman choose to bounce on your ass at the end of the day, take that. Because that's a learning experience. I'm looking yep. at it. And we all have to learn to take yeah. that. Yeah, you were nice enough to show me who you are. So mm-hmm. I'm going to believe you when you tell me and you show me who you are. So mm-hmm. with that being said, you do your thing, I do mine. There's no reason for anything to turn goddamn violent. Mm-hmm. I've seen oh, it's never a reason for violence. Just yeah. end it. Yeah. Effed up behind a man because his ego is so hurt or her ego is so hurt because someone cheated on you. Mm-hmm. They did you a favor. Let they ass go. It's gonna yeah. hurt a little bit. True enough. You you're gonna take them bumping them bruises. It's gonna take a little while to get over it. But I promise you, time heals all wounds. Let they ass go. Yeah. And and men out there, don't don't do the stupid ignorant thing and say, oh, you need me, or you'll never find another man like me. Don't nobody mm-hmm. want you. Bruh, <laughs> bruh, whatever 70s TV show that you watched that 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 line was in, or if you heard your father, grandfather said that, don't tell no damn woman that. Because if you have the balls, the audacity to tell a woman that, that shows how less of a man you are. Like, seriously, if if. If she cheat on you, you get mad, you want to leave. Like my man was saying, leave. You learn, you learn something about that situation. You need to go sit back, regroup, and, and figure out what you did wrong or what you could do better for the next time you're out there. Mm-hmm. But don't sit there and try to mentally beat that woman down, telling her she ain't no good or she can't find nobody else and you was everything to get out of here with that because it's mm-hmm. it's it's I don't, it's probably 12 dudes right around the corner that's better than you. So just get your ego in check. I can't say anything. I can't add anything. Y'all hit it. Well, once again, we want to thank all of our listeners and our viewers out there for tuning in to the King and I Life Podcast. Um, we're not saying we know everything we don't but we can share with you our life experiences and hopefully at least one person gets it so with that being said peace peace and again hit us up on facebook instagram youtube uh uh, voice message um looking to hear from you stay tuned for the next one if you have any suggestions let us know And we will be back again. I'll let y'all.